Hello, you're welcome to a new series, Business Lessons from the Bible. The Bible is not just a religious book, it's a manual for life. Basic information before leaving earth is the most effective book we need on earth. All through this series, we'll be sharing tips and principles from the Bible that can help enhance our businesses. Stay through and you will be glad you did. So welcome to yet another episode on our series business lessons from the bible today we are looking at john 1 we'll read from verse 45 to verse 47 but i'll rather just summarize it he said philip referred his brother who eventually joined the team this was a story about philip when he met jesus he began to talk to his brothers and gradually you began to see how eventually they were inviting their brothers their friends and Jesus intentionally recruited them into his team. So today we're going to be talking about team building. You must be intentional about building your team to power your vision. There's this common saying that without a vision, the people perish. But on the rivers, without a people, the vision will struggle, stagnate, and sometimes perish. So the people are important. A vision is important for direction for the people and the people are very important for the execution of the vision. So Jesus was strategic about building a team to power his vision. And as we go ahead in the subsequent days, you see how Jesus was able to work with his team to ensure that this was able to continue with or without him. Your business is as strong as the team that powers it. Recently, I had the privilege of working with some young men who built a business and they wanted me to be a part of their advisory board. And in course of our engagement, I asked a particular question, who are the drivers of this business? I need to have a deeper look into their capacity and competencies. I need to see how committed they are to this dream. That is it, because the truth is the future of every business is hanging on the shoulders of the drivers of the business. So when the drivers of the, in fact, in most cases, investors are keen about the drivers of the business, about the team behind the vision. So it's not enough to have a very laudable business idea packaged in a well-articulated document. You must work circumspectly with getting the team members to drive this vision. So the capacity of your team is the collective capacity of your business. So let's look at these action steps to bring in this to reality. First, identify your company's core activities. You know, I've seen people hire people and at the end they are all struggling because the structures have not been built. So identify your company's core activities, group these activities into related sessions and departments, then develop a structure that connects these departments. Then after which you build a team to fill in the slots. By then you already know what everybody ought to be doing. The job description is already worked out and you can see how the job descriptions connect to each other. Then you sit on top of it and manage or lead the team to implementing on the visions of the business. Shalom. Let's do this again tomorrow. Thank you for watching.